Well, we don't know what is last. Uh, if you look at what's going on, you have to really take a look at what's going on. Uh, they're finding tremendous discrepancies in the votes, and nobody believes those numbers. Those numbers are uh, incorrect numbers. Uh, a lot of numbers have already been reported that's incorrect. You're going to see things happening over the next week or two that are going to be shocking to people. Uh, if you look at the numbers in Michigan, if you look at the numbers in Pennsylvania, if you look at fraudulent voting and fraudulent votes, so I can't say uh, what's uh, first and what's last in terms of is this uh, the last one or is this the first one of a second term? We'll see what happens. Nobody wants to see the kind of fraud that this election has, has uh, really come to represent. Uh, we are looking at things that are so bad in Georgia. They don't want to show us signatures. The reason they don't want to show us signatures is very simple, uh, because uh, we will find thousands and thousands. It's a very close race. It's hair thin. Uh, but we'll find thousands and thousands of discrepancies, uh, fraud. Uh, why they aren't wanting to show those signatures is amazing. Uh, they're doing recounts. And even in the recount, they found thousands of votes that were off. But now we want to look at the signatures, and you will find tens of thousands of false ballots, forged, forged uh, ballots. You'll see it all over. You're going to see a lot of it. And uh, you go to Pennsylvania. You saw the meeting we had yesterday with Pennsylvania. Uh, you saw people come up, and they went to vote, and they said, no, you can't vote. Somebody else already sent in a ballot and a woman. But this is happening tens of thousands of times. I think it was 600 and some odd thousand, 687,000 uh, fraudulent votes cast in Pennsylvania. And I will tell you, the uh, if you look at the state house now, the Republican state house, they're starting to see what's going on there. But they've really known it for a long time. Then you go to Michigan, and you look at what happened in Wayne County in Detroit. I went through a list. I won almost every county. And you see it almost every by 78%, 72%, 68% going through the list. Then you get to Wayne, and something happened. Tremendous numbers. You saw the canvassers, they refused to sign their, their document because they said, we can't sign a fraudulent document. Horrible things went on. That's in Wayne County, Detroit. But you look at the votes that were just uh, tabulated. And they were left today. Look at all the counties. I won almost all of them, except Detroit was so uh, egregious. It was phony. Uh, look at what's going on in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, they're finding tremendous discrepancy. You just take a look at that. Tremendous discrepancy. And elsewhere. So we're going to see what happens. But you can't have somebody assume office and already they want to get rid of America first. I mean, they want to get rid of America first. They don't want America first. You know why? Because China doesn't want it. China expressed their uh, wish, please get rid of America first. And the Biden administration said, oh, that's okay, we'll get rid of America first. No, we don't want to get rid of America first. We want to put America first. And other countries should put themselves first too, and I tell them that all the time. But we don't want to get rid of it. So uh, I don't know what is going to happen. I know one thing, Joe Biden did not get 80 million votes. And I got 74 million, but there were many ballots thrown away, so I got much more than that. But I got 74 million. 74 million is 11 million more than I got last time. It's millions more than Ronald Reagan got when he won all. Uh, he won 49 states, I guess. He won 49 states, yes. And it's, uh, it's millions more, uh, millions more than Hillary Clinton got. Joe Biden did not get, and by the way, Joe Biden did not beat Barack Obama with uh, the black vote. It didn't beat him, okay? But they have him as beating him. And if you look at the numbers, the numbers are uh, false. The numbers are corrupt. It was a rigged election, 100%. And people know it. That's why you have people marching all over the United States right now. They know it was a rigged election. And look at what's happening in Georgia. A lot of things are being found in Georgia. And they are absolutely against showing, I mean, it's a sad thing. They don't want to show signatures. It can be solved if you show signatures. But you're going to find out the people that signed aren't the people that are supposed to be signing. You're going to find that the people that signed those envelopes, they didn't do the ballots, envelopes. And then somebody said, maybe the envelopes were thrown out. There's tremendous fraud here. If you look at, wait, just one second. If you look at 10 o'clock in the evening, you saw what happened. Then you had these massive dumps. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. 
You have dominion, which is very, very suspect to start.